This is the South Wash Pavilion at the Crater Diamond State Park. And this is a one of the new shade pavilions they had built last year. So you can get in out of the sun, but we don't need that right now. And uh, there are people scouring this field and spreading out with buckets. And uh, looks like Solomon Bauman, who also has a YouTube channel, has buckets all along this row and is filling them up. So a lot of people surface searching, some filling their buckets with gravel from the ditches and the drains. And uh, Marshall Reef, famous diamond finder over here, says he's found about 2,500 diamonds, his largest a 5.50 white. Uh, he's in the East Drain that he's very familiar with, has spent a lot of time over here and found a lot of diamonds here. I uh, was surface searching this morning. This is opening day or grand reopening at the Crater of Diamonds. And I noticed something I had never noticed before. I think because the bulldozer ripped differently through here. But um, this is what geologists call MOL or magne magmatic olivine lamparite. MOL. Um, and <laughs> I knew that West Hill, Middle Hill, and East Hill had MOL but I didn't realize there was any over here in fact uh, up just the iconic mine shaft building is just over that ridge um, and near it on a kind of a knoll just to the north and a little bit west of the mine shaft building you'll see an outcrop of magmatic olivine lamparite as well as in the hills that we don't search now it's known for not having diamonds or having micro diamonds. This is it, and it's really hard. The early miners, geologists called it hard a bank, but uh, this is just really hard, and uh, it's laced with beautiful seams of calcite in here. I think it's just lovely, really. But the bad thing is, it doesn't bear diamonds. But uh, here it is in the middle of the field that has diamond-bearing material all around it. See the color of this and also the consistency. See how it's really a lot of hard, like gravel sized uh, rock here. And over here, this is silt. Well, this is a different intrusion. The geologists say that the Crater of Diamond State Park, although it's 78 acres, it's not one big volcanic event. It is the site of multiple pyroclastic intrusions. In other words, many different volcanic events brought the diamonds to the surface here. And I would say this one brought diamonds to the surface. And this one that busted right through here did not bring diamonds to the surface. But then if you go just a little bit farther over by this dog, that that's the kind that did bring diamonds to the surface. Uh, it's greenish looking. And uh, this is hard, rocky, magmatic. But if you want a specimen to take home that's going to last for years, this magmatic is really good to pick up. And really, it's beautiful uh, with all the veining going on in it. And uh, I like it. There's even clasps inside contained in this. And uh, interesting looking stuff. And over here, just the way the bulldozer ripped through here in the past there are large specimens of this magmatic sitting around see it doesn't weather like the other does it doesn't break down the other will turn to silt and wash away but this magmatic pretty well stays intact and um, there's a pretty good pile of rocks to pick from here um, these are magmatic as well but then right on down where he's digging in the ditch which is prime spot like a gold prospector would say that's where you would dig for diamonds i just talked to him about it and he he understands the theory of how diamonds would settle and drop out there but down there it's diamond bearing up here the magmatic isn't but it's just a small area and upstream from here does have diamonds on both sides all sides there's just one little spot here where the magmatic intruded but it, it's pretty neat 
stuff when you you know get up and look at it really close it's got a lot going on in it, it would make a great specimen worldwide lamperite is very rare i mean you could take a piece home for your rock collection that nobody else on your block has because uh it's not very common worldwide but here at the crater of diamonds you've got 78 acres of lamperite now only 37 and a half are open to public searching because a lot of it in the hills over there is this magmatic material that doesn't bear diamonds but some interesting specimens to take home put on the shelf or put on the coffee table to start a uh, conversation with someone but um, fascinating just surface searching here and seeing our our opportunities that have laid out in the sun and the rain and the wind and eroded for the last two months without anybody searching it but we've got a good 500 people here today searching it.